What an absolutely brilliant start to the World Cup. Uh, you thought New Zealand were back for good, but they were only back for a few minutes, to be honest. France kept the scoreboard ticking by taking their shots at goal the whole time, but in general, kicking was horrible from both teams. They both struggled really to get a uh, touch on a regular basis, and there were lots of senseless kicks just up and down the field. Uh, when, fi when France finally, however, got their first try, uh, it was a really special one. Uh, Pinot was just denied moments earlier by Moanga, but uh, after some sustained pressure and a very uh, clever bit of hard running from some of the other players from the French team, they left the New Zealand defence flat-footed and they were able to actually score in the corner in a with a very easy try for Pinot. Uh, this game uh, looked like it was going to be the uh, the fight of the two scrum-offs, uh, but in the end it was only DuPont that pitched up. Aaron Smith couldn't get anything going for his team. The very last try was over telling. Uh, that really showed the passion that France had uh, as they pitched up for this game. Two players nearly killed each other, other trying to get that ball when the, when the game was already won uh, at 22-13. And they went over for that last try just to seal the deal and uh, actually put up a very decent score overall. If you have a look at the France uh, squad overall, they can be happy that even if they win ugly, they can put it together on the back of their passion and the grandness of the occasion. The only thing they need to worry about is, will they have players left by the end of the tournament? Because of the way that they are losing players to injury at the moment, it's worrying. For New Zealand, uh, what they have to worry about is everything. <laughs>